Hello everyone and welcome to this video on 9-methyl-beta-carbolene, a modern nootropic for dopamine enhancement. My name is Lucas and I will be exploring the key features of this modern research chemical. Before we jump into the video, we need to emphasize a clear disclaimer and warning that the information depicted in this presentation is purely for informational purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle routine. You should consult your physician about any interactions between medications you are taking and nutritional supplements. What is 9-methyl-beta-carboline? 9-MBC is a nootropic agent and research chemical with a pronounced action on the brain with multifaceted applications. But unlike other nootropics, 9-MBC has long-lasting effects in the brain. Although it is subjectively felt acutely, it works via upgrading the infrastructure for dopamine and neurovascular functions to support cognitive enhancement. How was it discovered? 9-MBC was first identified as a potential neuroprotective agent in 2008 by researchers in Germany, although there were many studies conducted on this compound many years prior. It was initially found to be of interest due to its ability to upregulate tyrosine hydroxylase, the enzyme responsible for converting the amino acid L-tyrosine into the dopamine precursor L-dopa and thus create more dopamine in the brain. Key features of 9-MBC. 9-MBC has a direct influence on the dopamine system, specifically targeting dopamine neuronal health via stimulation, protection, regeneration, restoration, repair and revitalization. The main uses of 9-MBC. <clears throat> Within the nootropic and smart drug community, 9-MBC has been used for reversing stimulant to tolerance, restoring sensitivity to dopaminergics, recovering from drug abuse, increasing motivation, enhancing attention and focus, increasing mood, and increasing libido. How does it work? 9-MBC interacts with pathways of tyrosine hydroxylase regulation, including the FGF receptor, PKA, PKA, PKC, and possibly the PI3K AKT pathway. Feel free to continue reading these, as a lot of it is very technical. However, this is pretty much mapping out all of the mechanisms and the key molecular targets that uh, 9-MBC is really working through. So as you can see, inducing neurite outgrowth, very similar to other nootropics like uridine, um, acetylchol uh, CDP-choline, influencing various neurotrophic factors like BDNF, GDNF. Um, again, many people be familiar with that. Uh, in particular, nerve growth factor. A lot of people are crazy over lion's mane. Um, and CDNF, another neurotrophic factor. Working through the mitochondrial respiratory chain and improving ATP synthesis, which is excellent for energy. Um, some more mechanisms of action. So 9-MBC upregulates, differentiates, and protects dopaminergic neurons, dendrites, and synapses, especially in the substantia nigra of the midbrain and in the hippocampus. It increases dopamine synthesis. It increases neurotrophins, decreases inflammation, preventing microglia proliferation and chemokine release, protecting against lipopolysaccharide toxicity, which we can get from... Uh, our diet and, and, and very unhealthy foods, um, anything that irritates the gut really triggers and releases lipopolysaccharide, um, reduces lactate dehydrogenase, increases tyrosine hydroxylase expression, that's very similar to forscolin, cordyceps, bromantane. Um, it's a, it mildly inhibits MAO-B, which is similar to selegiline, um, increases ATP, of course, important for energy production. So in this 
slide, we can look at the exploration of the effects. <coughs> so following up on their discovery, the same group of researchers tested the effects of 9-MBC in vivo by administering the drug intraperitoneally to rats for either 5 or 10 days and testing their performance in the well-known spatial learning task, the radial arm maze. Additional tests of neuro neuroanatomy and neurotransmitter levels were also performed on these rats, which were compared to both their non-treated and saline-treated counterparts. Important, importantly, the 9-MBC-treated rats were otherwise healthy, meaning that the results of this study can be extrapolated to potential nootropic efficacy in healthy humans, rather than, as is often the case, surmising potential effects based off of studies normally performed in either animal models of cognitive disorder or in humans with reduced mental function. Remarkably, the 9-MBC treatment significantly improved radial arm maze performance in the rats after 10, but not 5, days. This was, an, was accompanied by increased levels of dopamine in the hippocampus, as well as enhanced dendritic formations, length, number, and complexity of synaptic con connections in the same region. Here is a snapshot of a pretty impressive um, research article which I came across. Another one. Another one published in Germany. Some mechanisms, very technical. So what are the main benefits? Well, seeing as though 9-MBC really works through uh, improving dopamine signaling and function, the key benefits are enhances mood, enhances cognition, learning and memory, enhances spatial memory and movements, neuroprotective, restores motivation, neuroregenerative, and possibly recovers dopamine-induced damage from illicit drugs. Some anecdotal reports. <clears throat> so I've been using 15 to 30 milligrams once a day in the mornings for only a week now, and my 40 milligram Vivanese, Vivance dose is back at full throttle. The magic is back. I'm literally back at stage one of amphetamine, the drug you love to hate. It's as if I took it for the first time and honestly, I think I'd prefer dropping to 20 milligrams now. I used to take 80, 80 to 160 milligrams of Vivance for a while too. So I can attest to the fact that 9MBC works. It's very easy, easy to source online and has a solid nootropic benefits as well. The only thing I haven't tried in my repertoire is microdosing stims for sensitization, but I'm not willing to take this risk. Plus, I'm fairly sure that it won't even work as explained in this post. As of right now, I plan to keep using 15 milligrams of 9MBC daily and using 20 to 40 milligrams of Vivance once a week instead. If I were to rank effectiveness on tolerance reversal and repairing subjective damage from continued AMP abuse, it would go 9MBC, Bromantane, BPC, then the rest. Highly recommended. This stuff instantly erases withdrawals and reverses tolerance. What more could you ask for? Another report. <coughs> it does not feel as strongly stimulating, more restorative subjectively. Kind of refreshing in a way. Difficult to describe. It does have some mild stimulatory and wakefulness promoting effects but it does not substitute quite as much as, example, bromantane for stronger stimulation. Also, no jitters like caffeine and no apparent stimulant side effects. The health-related effects have more to do with promoting dopaminergic neuron upkeep, repair, and restoration against oxidative stress. Another one. Finally got around to taking this substance and I'm impressed. Took a 15 milligram dose sublingually in the afternoon and felt motivated all day. It's the evening now and I'm still feeling very stimulated. I know I have very low dopamine, however, so whether or not this works for you probably hinges on this fact. Another one. I tried 9MBC back when THT Co was still running. I remember its effects pretty clearly. 
best way to sum up its nootropic effects are increased attention over a span of say five to seven hours at 20 to 40 milligrams. The kind of attention I could manipulate to get something done. So like I was taking lectures and found I could just pay complete attention without my attention wandering. It's like selegiline but different, no physical push or excess motivation, just the attention aspect of selegiline. It's also a little bit like bromantine in a way, but different in that I had control over only one aspect of my cognition, namely attention, but no natural feeling of motivation. Basically with 9MBC, even I had enthusiasm for mental activity, I could even if I had enthusiasm for mental activity, I could still do it with 9MBC. Basically 9MBC with 9MBC controlling my attention was like controlling my breathing. Subtly I notice I am paying attention and as soon as that happened, I could hold it, slow it down, speed it up or not think about it and go on with my day. So here are some current dosages used in the nootropic community. A light dose appears to be 5 to, 50, to 10 milligrams. Moderate dose is 10 to 30 milligrams and a high dose is 50 to 75 milligrams. Again, this is not medical advice and this is purely for research purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional. This is a research chemical. The major side effects of 9MBC are photosensitivity, so DNA damage after UVA rays, so be careful with excess sunlight exposure. Dopamine neurotoxicity with quantities over the maximum recommended dosages and hyperactive libido and sex drive has been reported by some users as well. So where to buy? As with all research chemicals, purity is of utmost importance, particularly when it comes to quality control. Um, the most reliable vendor for 9MBC at present is through Ergogenic Health, my website. I update this page depending on what is the best 9MBC that's currently available and right now it appears to be science.bio which you can get to in the link in the description of this video and here are some references used for all of the research studies that I quoted in this video.